Ocean's 8 takes place roughly five years or so after the last film in the series, Ocean's 13. Sandra Bullock brings a whole new cast of leading ladies to help accompany her on her clever scheme. This cast was just great. I mean, it wasn't, you know, fall on the floor or bust a gut laughing, but it sure to do the trick. I probably only had a handful of audible chuckles while watching it, but I was smiling ear to ear while I was enjoying the film. Nothing gets my nerves pumping like a good old-fashioned heist movie, except for the part where Ocean's movies are not really old-fashioned. They're anything but old-fashioned, but that just makes it better. This one definitely has the same feel, the same vibe as the previous films, and the same cleverness to match, too. You'd think with all of the crazy awesome schemes that they've written through all of these Ocean movies that the writers themselves would actually try to pull something like this off in real life, because I feel like they'd get away with it. I feel like they would. But they haven't tried yet. Maybe they have, maybe they got away with it. Who knows? Hmm? Hey, you guys usually know, right? I am all about the action, the guns, the explosions. But when you have those kind of, you know, bank heist robbery things with uh, with clever planning and clever wit, uh, that's kind of my thing too. And the gorgeous woman, yeah, that's kind of my thing too. Sandra Bullock, be still my heart, what a babe. I really enjoyed the, uh, the humorous interaction between the women. It wasn't over-exaggerated, it was true to life, similar to the cast of Bridesmaids. Uh, now, I personally didn't memorize the cast heading into this, so I was actually pleasantly surprised with each new member that they were introducing throughout the film. Remember, when you are watching an Ocean's movie, if you think you know everything that is going on around you, everything going on in the movie, you don't. You don't. Overall, the acting was great, the casting was great, the dialogue was great, and the, the heist scheme itself was great. But the story overall, it just it felt a little flat. So, 7 out of 10. Ocean fans definitely gotta see this one. Heck, even if you haven't seen any of the other ones, you'll still enjoy it. 7 out of 10. The suspense meter could have been cranked up a little bit during the oh snap what just happened moments. So, 7 out of 10. I don't even think that there was anything remotely close to my kind of action, but the, uh, the sequence of events it was enough stimulation to carry me through this one. 7 out of 10. Sandra makes any movie a 10 out of 10, but personal bias aside, I'll have to give this one an 8 out of 10. We here at Who's Review give Ocean's 8 the overall rating of George Who. Clooney helped carry this franchise through three films, but in no way is his presence missed on this one. Meaning, of course, that the mastermind shoes were perfectly filled by Sandra Bullock. Not the fact that we don't like you, George. We do. We're still friends, and you can still come to my birthday party too if you want. Well, there you have it. That's our review of Ocean's 8. Have you seen it? What do you think? Are we way off? Right on? Let us know in the comment section below, and we'll check it out and respond. As always, if you want to stay up to date on all things Who's Review, make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and most importantly of all, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We thank you guys for checking us out here at Who's Review, where everyone's a critic. This cast was just great. Hold on, somebody's calling me. Hi, this is Ann. Telemarketing at its finest.